And I'm recommending that you pick up the phone and call your broker and buy CBS today. The stock is 54. Ionello is going to inherit a strategy that was well-placed. He's going to continue to execute well. And then, uh, you know, there's an old rule that we all learned in, in the second grade, and that is if she has the gold, she rules. So you got to give credit to Sherry. She pulled it off. And uh, so at the moment, if she gets a new board. She has total flexibility with regards to what she wants to do. But let's count money, okay? CBS, uh, National Amusement owns 30 million shares of CBS, of the voting stock. She owns 9 million, they own 9 million shares of the lower voting, uh, non-voting. So they have uh, 40 million shares approximately. So if they can get $80, $80 times 4 million shares is $3.2 billion. It's not nothing, but when you pay your, th- uh, your, your tax, uh, what, why would you want to sell the company? So from my point of view, I'm trying to figure out what Sherry's doing next. You've got two guys from Columbia Business School, Bakish running Viacom, and you've got Ionello running uh, CBS. They have a good uh, – so where does the world want to buy this? They want content. So if I were Paramount, what I would do if I were Sherry, I'd start taking my Japanese lessons and talk to the guys that are running uh, Sony. And uh, I think they're ready to do something. So put together Columbia Pictures and get more content on scale, particularly if Fox uh, and Disney can get together, you can merge some studios. So that makes a lot of sense. Hey, Mario, so, it's, it's, it's Josh Brown. So, hey, Josh, I, how are you? I'm doing great. Good to hear from you on this topic. So following that, that thread, um, let's talk about whether or not CBS and Viacom would, would actually be the more obvious thing to have. To have oh, yeah. I, look, the answer is that while she can't propose, the answer is, you know, I've watched Rich Parsons, who does a great job. Dick has done, been fantastic over the last uh, 20 or 30 years that I've known him. And, uh, you know, the notion of common sense uh, at some point in time, he'll say, hey, look, let's put the two together. If they come together, though, is that so I, my, my feeling on Viacom specifically and maybe CBS a little bit is that they do have good content, not, not the best, but, but a lot of it, um, but they don't have distribution for the 21st century. So I if agree. you smash these two together, don't you just get like a bigger Lionsgate or a bigger um, AMC Networks and not necessarily an answer to the real problem, which is direct to consumer? I agree. You only got four and a half million subscribers, and the answer is Netflix is 130 million, and so as a result... And you have to assume Disney will be bigger? Yeah. So, you know, how do I accelerate that? And that's work in progress. OK, I, I don't think, look, uh, a great movie this year was for Paramount was Mission Impossible. I don't think the notion is as Mission Impossible as as, <clears throat> as you're describing it. But on right. the other side, it's a long way to go to catch up and direct to the consumers, the holy grail. You bypass the distributors. Not that you want to do that, but you're 100 percent right.